Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to generate a Shopify theme with a lot more options. So this is again going to be a starter theme and it does not have everything out of the box, but it is a good starting point to develop your own theme. So in the previous video, as you know, we used the theme kit to generate our theme, but the templates are a lot different than what we saw in the debut theme. For example, you don't have a snippet, you don't have sections, you have you are missing most of the templates also if you open some of them they have the only thing they have is like the titles and some subtext and if you come to the customers if you open the login it does not have the code even this code does not do anything and this is not what we want so i need something it should have a, a little bit of coding out of the box for me so it will save time and it is going to be a standard theme so how you can do this one you can use a slate tool if you remember, in the beginning of the tutorial, I said there is a tool called Slate Tool. This is developed by Shopify Themes, but this is under low maintenance. We are not going to maintain it for now because, as I said, this is not very good because it does not work on Windows. And there are many more things about this one I didn't like about this. But the good things they have, they have a starter theme. Like they can generate a theme for you which have most of the feature out of the box. It does not have any styling but it has a lot of template automatically like created. If I come to my account, my account section, it has all the liquid file I need. So I didn't need to code the liquids and what is required and what is not required. It is already there, all you have to do is to style it. So if you come to the documentation here, you don't have to go through everything. If you want, you can do this one but in the guide how to create your own theme, you can see if you have installed yarn in your computer, you can start creating your own theme. So let's create a theme. Let's run this comment in our terminal and see what happens. So here in the directory I'm recording the video, I'll open, I will open the PowerShell here and I will paste the code to see how it works. Oops, I forgot to copy this one. Sometimes terminal does that. If you copy, it does not take it. So if I run this comment, I already have yarn installed. So make sure you do have yarn installed. And let's see what this is going to create. As you can see, it will download all the packages. I will do everything practically. You don't have to do everything. I will push the code on GitHub. All you have to do is you can clone that repo and then you can start creating your own theme. That's all you have to do. For now, I will do everything manually. If you are interested, you can watch it. Otherwise, you can watch the next video where I will show you how you can clone it, how you can push it and pull it from GitHub and start using it. So it will take a while to install everything and configure. So while this is doing, let's see what it has created. Here is our theme. If I open this one, it has all the packages here. That's why I said this is confusing. Why, why this is like that? The main goal of a slate was to develop Shopify theme locally, which is not possible. Of course, the data was coming from Shopify.com. If that is coming from myShopify.com, then that is not called locally. You, if you don't have internet, it was not working in the first place. Second thing, they are using the some of the services that are not supported in Windows. And some people find a way how to do it, but I couldn't do it. To be honest, I tried a lot. It was working one day, but tomorrow when you come back, it was not working again. So if I come and check it out, it is downloading every package. Just take it a, a little time, it will download everything. I don't need all of them. It is, uh, you know, it is up downloading the node modules here. I will create our own version of Slate, but it will be a lot clean. We have less code and everything should work fine. But that is not locally, but it will be a lot more optimizable. So if I check it out, inside the source, this is what I need. They have a styles, which saves all the styles for you. They have, uh, templates and inside this one you have customer you have everything here so let me open this one in the code editor and see what is inside this one i'll open it in vs code let's see how much remaining yeah it is almost there it depends on the speed of your internet i am in a place where the speed of internet is a little low for now so i come to the source here there is a lot of code. I will remove most of them. So you might not need most of them. They have environments. You set the environment variable here. 
your store, your password, the team ID, and ignore files, it, stuff like that. I don't need all of them. As I said, I will remove most of this stuff here. But if I come here in the styling, they have the team.scss and they are importing everything from core and stuff. I will remove everything. I don't need all of this stuff. You know what? Uh, how it was working previously? It was working like that. You come to your uh, terminal here and you run some yarn commands. Some yarn commands, these are written in the package digestion. In the package digestion, if you come here, you scroll down, these are your scripts. If you are about to run npm or yarn run start, it will start the, the slate tool for you and it will watch for any changes in the source directory and it will compile it down and create a, a theme for you. The same way, if you run the zip one, it will zip your theme and create a zip folder in this directory, then you can upload it to the server. That was how it works. But it is a little confusing. I don't want to do this one. The reason I show you is this option exists. If you want to do it, you can do it. But for me, I do need to do it. All I have is I'll come to the source directory. I'll copy everything. The reason I copy this one, check it out. If I open the source directory, again, the templates, customer, and op if I open the login, as I show you in the other one in the previous video, it has all the form for the login for me. I don't have to do anything, but this his stuff does not have any styling so i have to do styling out of the box like uh, styling does not does not come out of the box so i have to do it myself that's why at least these options exist 404 pages articles most of them are already done so i don't have to worry about those things that's why i can copy all of this code and i'll come to my shopify task directory and here i'll create a code in spy directory and I'll paste all the code I have copied there. Now this will be my main theme here. So every changes I bring here, I will upload them to the server and I will do everything you need. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to remove some of this stuff. First of all, I will remove this child. This stuff does not have to do here because as I said, if you have extra folders, they will not get uploaded. The reason Slate tool was doing it, they were creating another folder then that folder could be uploaded to the server that's why we are not doing that this is all we need and there are so many files included in this one i will remove those stuff and i'll show you in the next video what are those stuff that i have removed and then i'll push the code to the github also so this is the final projects i have i don't care about this comment that is running in the background it's still installing theme kit stuff i don't care about that one this is all i need the only file I need is config mm, config.yml This is the file I need. I will put all the theme settings here and we can push it to the server. If you check out now, you don't have any assets here. I will create my assets. But for the config, you have the config. For the layouts, you have the gift card, the password and the theme layout, which is more. And you have sections, you have a snippet, some of the nice snippets, they have icons everything is set up here so that's it if you want you can do this one if you have your install in your computer you can just download it and start doing it otherwise i'll push the code uh, to github so you can clone it and start using it in the next video that's it for this video thank you for watching and in the next video i'll show you what are the some of the files i show you here you can completely skip next video if you don't want to see those stuff but still i will push the code on github you can clone it and you will see the link in the description of the videos. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.